Hi guys! On to the Christmas ones now, and I had quite a few that I've done, so hopefully I'll get them done fairly quickly here. Um, I hadn't made any videos for a while because summer we have baseball and we eat, sleep, breathe it, but then um, fall came and we eat, sleep, breathe football, and now we're heading into basketball, so when your kid plays all the sports, it you just your life is not your own I spent especially for football when they had the two days I'm just driving him to school every time I turn around so I'm right now basketball he started practice but it actually doesn't start till Saturday so we're good I've got a few days um, this is holiday berry and I put little purple I think you can see that purple sugar girls on top and that's what that one looks like and I changed my packaging for um, Christmas. Oops. I did two different little ones. Isn't he cute, the little bird? Anyway, um, and then I did a, that ribbon with the red ones. And then I have the sparkly green with the green ones. So there we go. Okay, then we got hot cocoa. And this ribbon has been a pain, I will say. It wants to come undone all the time. Um, hot cocoa, put in the cocoa line, um, which, um, I can still, you know, it's still discolored a little bit up there, but, and then I put the hot cocoa, or the, um, cocoa on the top. I love that smell. Then I have family gathering, and this one, cocoa line again to keep this stuff white, and I just put three colors in my piping bag, and Piped them all out and then a little star on top. I think I have one not wrapped. Yep, here we go. Here's an unwrapped version of that one. And then did the clear sugar crystals, big ones on top. We have a store here called Basil Market that has some really great um, sugar pearls and things like that there. So, um, And you'll be able to see my buttermilk. You can see all the little chunks in there. I generally don't strain it out um, for soaps like this. I do strain it out in white soaps so that you don't have those pieces. When I use buttermilk or cream or um, yogurt, whatever I use, goat's milk, I do actually strain out some of the fat. So um, This is Heart of Christmas and it has little trees and snowflakes on top and red sugar and a heart inside. And this is kind of a berry and spruce that smells really good. More berry than spruce, but this is the peppermint, and that one turned out really good. I used peppermint essential oil for this one, so it's pretty, pretty strong. Little tiny bit of glitter on there. Rock hard too. Okay, this one is family gathering too, but different. This is more the like the men's version. Although I'm not sure why I put glitter on top since I was gearing towards men. I guess I just couldn't be helped. Um, but it has it is a deep green and red. I don't know how much you can tell that. And then I put a gold um, mica line throughout it. But um, this one's been selling really well to the men, so it worked. Whatever I did, I guess. Then I have peppermint forest, and this is. Um, a little bit lighter peppermint um, with kind of a sugary scent and I did a embed, I think I have one of this too, yeah I do. Did an embed there and the sugar crystal so here's one without the wrapping. And that turned out really good. And then my favorite is the Merry Mistletoe and I have one of those unwrapped too. Yep, I do. Okay, there's that. Um, here's Mary Mistletoe, and this turned out really good. I got the scent from Candle Science. I just sampled it and absolutely loved it. Um, it has a little bit of the fir tree kind of smell, but really good berry smell too. It's it's wonderful. So um, I bought more, and I have two more loaves of that downstairs curing right now. And we have these two, the Christmas tree one. And then I just put the, the label on the back. And then we have Mr. Gingerbread Man. And he's got a glitter bow tie and everything. Smuggled gingerbread, of course. 
then um let's see oh then i have my my cupcake soaps which i think turned out really good um and i actually decorated them he's sitting kind of funny but i boxed them all up really nicely and i did um this one has kind of a sprucey scent to it and a couple Christmas tree ones. This Christmas tree one, they have a little star on top um, and the little sugar balls and then the base is white, you know, like it's just sitting in snow. And um, then I have this one, which I iced for a little bit of um, snow, I guess. And then I've got to box them up yet, but I have like three or four of these. And these are for the people that have the white Christmas trees with the blue and silver. You know, old school it. And uh, I'd only got like three of those. I think these are just like my leftover frosting. And so I just did that with, I think, they have a little hit of peppermint in them. So, all right. I think what I'm going to do. Oh, I got more. I forgot about these. All right, I have these little snowflakes that are really, really pretty. And I think I'm going to, i got to clean them up a little bit. I haven't done that yet, but um, real glittery. And I scented them with just peppermint. And then um, I think I'm going to put them as a three-pack and do it that way. But I only have a few sets of these because I only have one mold of this. And so I can only make three at a time. So I think I only have like nine of them total. Um, but they're very, very cute. And if I can ever get more of that mold, I will. So, okay, I think I will move on to another video instead of continuing this one. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.